Today we have brought you a bunch of updates. Tesla switches standard range vehicles to LFP battery chemistry. Tesla is enforcing strict FSD beta rules for inattentive drivers. Tesla confirms that it's built multiple Cybertruck Alpha prototypes. And, Tesla's R&D center for its $25,000 electric car is complete. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Among the most interesting announcements made by Tesla during its Q3 2021 earnings call recently was the strategy to move all of its standard range vehicles to a cheaper LFP or lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry. For standard range vehicles, we are shifting to lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry globally, Tesla said in its Q3 shareholders deck. It's a strategy that Tesla adopted in the Chinese market since it has built the Model 3 in Shanghai in early 2020. However, now Tesla is planning to shift the Model 3 standard range and Model Y standard range vehicles to the LFP pack, which is definitely more available than the standard NCA or nickel cobalt aluminum packs. Tesla actually shifted to utilizing the LFP pack in some standard range plus Model 3s and offered customers the opportunity to utilize that pack so they could take delivery quicker. In late August, Tesla emailed some Model 3 orders with the message that the battery pack could be changed to the LFP pack, which was in healthy supply. The strategy could have to do with Tesla's demand, which has exceeded its production rate. The LFP batteries are less expensive than NCA cells and have longer lifespans. The disadvantage to switching to this pack is lower energy density, meaning less power and less range. LFP batteries are also more prone to be affected by weather, something that can cause lower range ratings and prolific differences in power output. CEO Elon Musk said that Tesla's intention with the LFP pack is that the product experience is roughly equivalent between nickel and iron. Musk added that he'd personally opt for iron pack as it wants to be charged to 100%, whereas nickel prefers around 90%. The shift in electrification from so many automakers has caused a shortage in some battery materials, which also could be a strategy for the shift to LFP cells by Tesla. Combating delivery times can be solved by switching to other materials, but Tesla plans to also combat shortages by expanding its manufacturing footprint with two new production facilities in Berlin and Austin, Texas. Moving to the next update, Tesla is enforcing strict FSD beta rules for inattentive drivers. It appears that Tesla is indeed determined to keep its FSD beta program as free from untoward incidents as possible. As recently shared by the Tesla community online, Tesla has been sending out emails to some FSD beta testers who have been flagged for not using the advanced driver assist system responsibly. The company's message is clear, drivers who misuse the FSD beta system will be kicked off the program. The following is Tesla's message to an FSD beta tester who was flagged for improper use. Interestingly enough, Tesla noted that it would only be sending one warning to concerned drivers. After the initial warning, the FSD beta system would be removed from the vehicle in question. Tesla did not specify exactly what driving behavior caused the warning to be sent to the FSD beta tester. However, the company has been cracking down on actions such as looking at phones while operating FSD or autopilot. Granted, Tesla's wording in its message seems quite assertive, but it is understandable. FSD beta is only starting to get expanded to more users, after all, and it is imperative that the company avoid tolerating unsafe driving behaviors as much as possible. During the Q3 2021 earnings call, Tesla's CFO, Zachary Kirkhorn highlighted that Tesla's autopilot team had been working extremely hard to improve the driver assist system. The executive further noted that Tesla is making it a point to be as transparent as possible when it comes to the improvements being rolled out to autopilot and FSD. Moving to the next update, Tesla confirms that it's built multiple Cybertruck Alpha prototypes. 
As Tesla Giga Texas prepares to start Model Y production, Cybertruck deliveries are inching closer. At the Q3 2021 earnings call, Tesla confirmed that it had built a few Cybertruck Alpha prototypes, and the EV pickup truck has entered the beta stage. Interest in the Cybertruck was apparent at Tesla's third quarter earnings call. Quite a few investor questions were about the Cybertruck and its production. Lars Moravi, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, provided a few updates about the Cybertruck, providing some much-needed updates for those who are extremely excited for news about the all-electric pickup. We've been busy detailing the Cybertruck to achieve the prototype version we shared with customers a while back," Moravi shared. Recently, a new Alpha prototype of the Cybertruck was sighted at the Castle Airport in Atwater, California. Sightings of the EV pickup are always welcome, and this time, Tesla teased a few surprises about it. The Cybertruck seen driving around the Castle Airport sported side mirrors and possible rear-wheel steering functions. Its wheels also seemed staggered. As you may have seen recently in social media, we've built a number of alphas and are currently testing those to further mature the design. And while those point out a few key additions like rear steer, there are also a number of smaller or less visible improvements, though the product is largely true to the initial vision. We'll continue to work through the product in the beta stages that we're in now and look to launch that by next year," Moravi said. Tesla plans to start Cybertruck production after Giga Texas ramps the Model Y, which may take some time, given global supply chain constraints. However, the start of Cybertruck production may coincide with the ramp of Tesla's 4680 cells. With that in mind, Tesla may be producing enough cells to manufacture Cybertrucks and its other vehicles when production on the all-electric pickup starts. Moving to the last update, Tesla's R&D center for its $25,000 electric car is complete. Tesla's Q3 2021 update letter included several critical tidbits about the company's ongoing projects across the globe. But amidst the wealth of information provided in the document, Tesla also included a small, yet notable update of sorts from the Gigafactory Shanghai complex. The R&D center, where the $25,000 Tesla would be formally designed, has seemingly new been completed. Earlier this year, Tesla China president Tom Zhu told state media outlet Xinhua Net that the company's R&D center is scheduled to be completed in mid-2021. According to the executive, the site would be the location where Tesla would design, develop, and test a new vehicle that would be produced in China and sold across the globe. This vehicle has been widely speculated to be the $25,000 Tesla. While Tesla has been quite silent about developments and updates surrounding the R&D center for its $25,000 car, job postings from the company over the past months have hinted that the new facility was nearing its launch. Back in August, for example, Tesla China posted several job openings for the R&D center, including some for vehicle design, vehicle software, hardware design engineering, material engineering, and vehicle engineering, to name a few. Details about the upcoming $25,000 Tesla are still scarce. So far, CEO Elon Musk has only confirmed that the vehicle would not be called the Model 2. Previous reports from China, however, have noted that the upcoming vehicle would be a compact car based on the Model 3 platform. Industry insiders from China have also claimed that Tesla was already lining up suppliers for the $25,000 compact car and that trial production for the vehicle should start sooner than expected. The $25,000 Tesla has the potential to be a true difference maker, and it could very well become a key player in the company's goals of becoming a true mass market car maker that could produce 20 million vehicles per year by 2030. Designing such a vehicle would be among Tesla's biggest challenges to date, as building a profitable EV with the company's trademark tech and performance at such a price point would be a notable feat. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.